What is up you guys and welcome to my channel for those of you who are new. My name is Kira. The channel name is Kay Roche. You've already made it this far into the video so you might as well just go ahead and click subscribe down there. Also go ahead and like the video for more content like this but maybe you should know what the video is about before you start doing that so I'll let you know right quick. Today's video, I'm going to be doing a Fashion Nova try on haul. So I have a few items that I picked up for the winter. For the most part, this is a quick little winter clothing haul, okay? This is definitely in my element. Fashion Nova has to be one of my all time favorite online shops. They're trendy, they're inexpensive, it's fast fashion. A lot of people in my family have some Fashion Nova this year, I'm just gonna say that. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and hop right into these items. So let's get to it. So the first piece I have is a right here this is a tan jacket and it's actually cropped it's really cute I've been really into nude as you guys saw my rebranding is all nude and I'm obsessed with that right now it's actually in a set it came with matching sweatpants and they're not just like a regular sweatshirt cotton or whatever they're actually like textured I don't know if you guys can tell but it's kind of like furry in a sense it's really soft on the outside and on the inside they feel like they're gonna be really comfortable I'm not gonna lie and yeah, I got the sweatpants here. They do have a nice little pocket in the front and the sweatshirt doesn't have any pockets, but it is a zip up. Like I said, it's cropped. It's the same material on the inside as the sweatpants are. And I just think that this, like a piece like this, sets like this are so versatile because you don't have to wear them together. You can always pair them with something else. You wear the jacket by itself. You can wear the sweatpants by itself and the outfit will still come together without having to wear the other. So anyway, so that's a good thing if you don't want the sweatpants or you don't want the jacket you don't have to get them so I'm gonna go ahead and try these on so here's that matching set that I was telling you guys about it's really really nice and comfortable I'm getting very much like skims vibes I don't know maybe it's just me like I feel very like early 2000s in this like it's really cute but the whole set I probably could have sized down one it's really comfortable and really soft and really warm I will say that but probably not my size and I wanted to show you guys that again you can change up pieces and make them as versatile and as you as you want them to be you can unzip it just a little bit and add a little flare make it real cute or you could even just wear it completely unzipped and here I just have on a regular forever 21 I think top super cute it's just white and it adds a lot more to the outfit but like I said I probably would have if I known size down one size on the entire set just so that it fits a little bit better because it's kind of loose kind of loose just a little bit but they're still really cute and really comfortable like really comfortable and really really soft you know what the material this reminds me of it's like a soft beach towel i don't know that's what it reminds me of but still really nice mm. I like this one. The next item that I have is another sweatshirt item. As you guys saw, a little splash of pink, bright pink. Couldn't go wrong with a little bit of pink. This sweatshirt, oh my gosh, it says spoiled on it. I just thought that it was fitting and funny. It says spoiled, bedazzled on the front of it. It's really cute, really, really soft on the inside. I will have to say it's softer than the other sweatshirt set. Yeah, so this I just got by itself. I believe that there are sweatpants that match it, but I just got the sweatshirt because I thought it'd be cute. It's also crops. I'm really into the cropped sweatshirts, which will be really nice to transition into spring, but also keep you a little bit warm in the winter. I'm gonna go ahead and try this piece on. All right, so this piece I absolutely love. This is more of like an everyday fit, but I'm obsessed with it. It's super cute. I love the shade of pink. I just get makeup on it, probably. I love the spoiled on it, even though I'm not spoiled. I think it's really cute and it adds a lot to it. The bedazzling, don't mind my undershirt. So as you can see, it's kind of see-through so you have to watch what bra you wear underneath but i don't mind that it is cropped like i said but still really cute i love it i wouldn't wear it with these black sweatpants but i'll probably just wear them with like some jeans or something but i think it's really nice and it's really soft this is something that bothers me though like when sweatshirts are really tight up here it's not crazy but i would definitely see myself like constantly pulling it down maybe after you wear it a bit it'll loosen up there but that kind of bothers me a bit but still a really cute piece i love this one really cute <laughs> the monitor is my mirror right now so that's the only way i'm seeing how everything fits 
that's why I keep looking over here. Okay, next fit. So the next item that I got is actually a piece that I wore on New Year's. Here it is, it's very wrinkled because I actually just washed it, but I am obsessed with this piece. It's actually a bodysuit. It's really nice, these buttons are actually fake, which I didn't know to begin with, so there's a lot of cleavage showing. So if you're not prepared for that, just keep that in mind. It's a really nice like rose gold champagne-y color, which I really think is nice. And the material is really soft, it doesn't feel cheap. A lot of times when you get materials like this, it looks cheap, it feels cheap, but this was a pretty inexpensive piece from what I remember, and it's actually really good quality. It's really nice, you could wear this for any occasion, for going out, for like dressing up, and I I think it's a cute like staple piece. This is something that I would have in my closet for when I need something dressy and it can still be cute and like comfortable. So yeah, here is this piece. So I'm gonna go ahead and try this on for you guys even though I already know what it looks like on. I'm gonna try it on for y'all so y'all can see what it looks like. You don't really get the real vibe of how it looks with us. I don't feel like taking off this white tank top so we're just gonna leave that on and act like it's not there. But, and it's also very wrinkled because like I said, I just washed it. But here's what it looks like. You can also like, if the cleavage is a little too much like tuck it into your bra but you could always do well that doesn't even look too bad you can always tuck into your bra to make it a little bit better i also am too lazy to tie the bodysuit but you get the vibes okay you get it also this one i would size down this part is a little big and when i put it on like it kind of shows over top of my pants so i have to like constantly pull it down and like tuck but overall it's a really nice shirt i feel like really luxurious really fancy in it and I love it Oh, really cute really really cute mm, bam. <laughs> the next piece that i got is a little bit different for me i don't know it gives me very much like milf vibes like rich auntie vibes i don't know but for some reason i gravitated to it like i don't know it's the same material pretty much as the last piece that i just showed you it's that same like satin like silk type feel it still seems like it'll be really comfortable it only has one button which i didn't know i mean at least the cleavage won't be too bad it's a like wrap shirt you can wear this a whole bunch of different ways so yeah and i don't know if y'all can see but the tie goes down like really long but you can tie this the sleeves are a little like scrunched on the wrist which i think is like really flattering to make it looser on the arms and then cinch in on the wrist i think that that's really cute and yeah so i'm actually really excited to style this don't get me wrong i do know how to dress but like my go-to is sweatpants and a crop top and a jean jacket and we're gucci i wanted to switch it up a little bit maybe bring out my sexy milf okay so i'm gonna try this on for you guys so that you guys can see how i style it and what it looks like because i'm kind of scared to figure out what it's gonna look like but i'm sure i'm gonna piece something together maybe not no let me have a little faith in myself okay so now after having it on i think i transferred from thinking like a sexy milf to like like jazz from fresh prince of bel-air like that's what i feel like like i feel like this is something he would wear it's really cute maybe just not my vibe it's also extremely big maybe i did the wrong thing by sizing up but i knew it was super versatile so i don't know maybe i should like maybe i have to like play around with it let me know different ways that you're supposed to tie tops like this i mean maybe that'll be cute if i were to wear it as like a, a crop top or something maybe i'm just not high fashion enough but it's really soft though like a robe in this material would be everything like it's softer than the one that i wore for new year's definitely mm, i don't know i see where i was going with it but I don't know if it's really me or if I just don't know how to dress it or no it's a no for me I mean maybe maybe I just don't know how to wrap it let me know how you're supposed to wrap it down below in the comments and maybe I'll try it out again but for now it's a no all right so the next category that I'm getting into is dresses this is more of my comfort zone I always need a nice dress to go out like they're so versatile and easy you don't have to think about an outfit you can just grab a dress put it on throw on some shoes and you're good no you don't have to do all that just grab a dress and go that's why I love dresses so much they're super comfortable let's go ahead and get into some of these dresses so I just have a few so starting off I'm gonna show you guys this dress now I really don't remember how this dress goes on but it's so cute oh my gosh so as you guys can see it has like it'll let me explain it when I have it on <laughs> but I do know that it has the back out and it goes really low so that's gonna be really cute and flattering okay but I just think that this would be really cute it is pretty short though i'm pretty tall i'm 5'9 so it's kind of 
hard to pick out dresses sometimes because of my height. I could always just do my trick and size up sometimes and maybe get it tailored or cinch it in yourself with like a safety pin or even like just tie it in the back in a knot with a hair tie or something. Put on a jacket and you're good to go. I don't know if that did too much, but I'm fine with being a hoochie. And yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. I'm actually really excited to try this one on. It feels really thick. It doesn't seem like it'll be see-through at all. I'm excited to try on this piece. All right, so here is this dress. I don't think I'm wearing it right, if you wanna be honest. I don't think so, okay? I mean, here it is. It's really cute and like sexy, actually, but I don't know if like this is right. This like triangle, I think it is. I don't know, but I do think it's really, really cute. I mean, it feels really nice, I will say. Really soft and comfortable for the most part, other than the fact that like, you gotta watch to see if your titties pop out, if it don't fall too far in the back and expose you, like, you gotta watch out for that. But other than that, it's really comfortable and I could definitely see myself wearing it. I like it, I actually do like it. Let's move on to the next dress. The next dress that I got is also black. This one though is a statement dress. I just couldn't pass this one up though. I think it was on sale for like a really good price and I was like, I don't know where I'm gonna wear this, but I know I need it in my closet. So here it is. Like maybe I should've gotten this for New Year's, but it's super sparkly like the flicks in this dress would be amazing okay the shape of it is like different it's not like a normal dress it's kind of it's almost a sweetheart like it wants to be a sweetheart dress but it's not quite there yet it's not that mature what so here it is in all its glory and it's pretty thick it has some weight to it maybe it's because of all these sequins on here but it's also another thing with sequins is like i don't want to leave a trail behind me when i'm wearing a dress or something but these actually feel really secured on here like even trying to tug on it like none of them have fallen off since i've had it in my closet i have seen none on my floor so that's a very good sign but i'm so excited to try this one on i'm not gonna lie like this is probably the thing that i'm most excited to try on for you guys not even for you guys for myself <laughs> just feel cute right quick but yeah so also just about the same length as the last dress but still really cute so we're gonna go ahead and try this on in a second all right so here is this dress and i will say this dress is definitely for show it's really pretty it's really eye-catching definitely wish i would have sized down though because it is a bit loose and big in some areas but it is really pretty like definitely for a night out like new year's vibes stuff like that i like to a club or something but i mean i'm not going to a club because i'm only 19 but the sequins will cut you up literally like my arms are like on fire because like rubbing here is so uncomfortable i wish it didn't scratch me up so bad because it's a really cute dress it's just not fitting right in some areas and i can tell it's still really pretty and eye-catching definitely like a flick in it and then take it off off right quick because like i said you'll probably be bleeding by the end of the night like you can full-blown cut yourself with this dress it's a weapon okay if you want people to stay off you in the club you might want to try this because then you can like dance on a little bit cut them up chop chop and then they'll leave you alone and the last item of the clothing part of this haul this dress here now this is definitely something different i think this dress was like trending a while back i know my girl Aaliyah's face had this dress a while ago and i always wanted it but i could never find it I'm pretty sure it was like always sold out on Fashion Nova, but I finally got my hands on it, but they sent me the wrong size. So I believe this is in a, what is it in? An extra large? Baby, this is not gonna fit me right. Um, but do y'all see how much material is here? This ain't gonna fit me, no ma'am. But um, I'm still gonna try it on for y'all. I thought it was pretty interesting. It has like one of those like, I don't know what it's called. It's a mock neck, not a turtleneck, but like almost a turtleneck, a mock neck. I think that's what it's called. So it has one of those in really long sleeves which I love me a long sleeve. The material though is actually really, really soft, okay? It feels pretty thick and nice quality. It is stretchy though, so I feel like even if it does fit me when I try it on, after I wash it a few times, it's probably not gonna fit me. But let's be real, this is a dress that you can only wear like once, so um, it wouldn't matter, but I don't know, I just had to get it cute. I love the blue and the orange. What is this a fuzzy on here? Get off of here. But yeah, so let's go ahead and hop right into this dress. All right, so on to the last item of the try on. As I expected with this dress, it is too big. It's not like, that's not cute. It's not fitting around the neck, right? It looks like I literally stretched it for years around my neck. 
it's just too big it's a stretchy material which is something that i wasn't expecting i didn't size up in it though they just sent me the wrong size so i don't know what that's about fashion nova it's a really cute dress and a really cute pattern like i would wear it but it's too big maybe i could like crop it or cut it into something but other than that it should be warm fitted and it's just not that it, there's just too much material here it's it's just not fitting me right it's not it's not doing it for me so yeah the material is really soft though i will say that moving on to the last portion of this haul we have accessories okay you can really make a fit with just a purse with just some shoes with some glasses like you can really do that do it big with some simple stuff and luckily fashion nova has you okay really inexpensive items that are super cute super trendy it's fast fashion you can get something super cheap wear it for one fit and if it goes out of style go ahead and get you another one i'm gonna show you guys a few items starting with purses the first bag that i have is actually this one right here when i tell you when i seen this it was calling my name literally screaming at me like before before i could even really get a good look at it it said care so i definitely bought it and is this not the cutest thing that you have ever seen this looks like it would be really expensive too but when i tell you i barely paid anything for this like what what now you guys if you watch my vlog miss you have seen this purse this is the bag that i actually carried when i went on my date i don't remember which vlogmas that was i want to say it was day 19 but that might not be right i know some of you guys saw it in that but i did get some questions of people asking me where it was from it's from fashion nova baby fashion nova got you covered okay but this is literally the cutest bag ever and yeah it's really nice the hardware is gold it also has like the little crossbody strap but like on the shoulder hanging would be really cute or even have it on the shoulder and then carry it like this to prevent people from snatching your bag Just secure the bag okay there's no way that i paid that price for some real leather but it feels like it's real leather like this is good quality i'm not gonna lie sis this is good like if you can get your hands on this bag get this bag because what are you doing you're sleeping this is like the cutest bag ever like i'm completely obsessed with it moving on we have this style so this isn't a bag that i would normally go for but i just thought that it was so cute when i saw it so here it is like like over the shoulder and then it has this mini bag like a coin pouch or like a card id pocket or whatever that zips and unzips Ooh, the material on the inside though is really nice it's like the material of that prada bag that's really trendy that all like the fashion people are wearing nice if you up then this is like it reminds me of like a fanny pack literally we love nice storage okay so i thought that this would be a really nice piece to style an outfit around so i got this one and the last bag but definitely not least is this one oh my gosh okay so story behind this bag i actually got it for my anniversary fit if you guys have seen my instagram story my anniversary outfit was so cute okay let me know if y'all want me to recreate that makeup look or whatever but anyways my anniversary was on new year's anyways all that to be said y'all don't care but this is the bag that i originally got to wear with my outfit so cute when me and my boyfriend got together he actually surprised me with a michael kors bag so i ended up throwing this one to the side okay and rocking my michael kors all night but it literally matched my outfit and i was like he didn't even know what i was wearing so i don't know how he did that if he got like telepathy or something and seen through my bag or is that how is that extra ray vision maybe i'm retarded but i don't know how he figured out what i was wearing how he knew it was gonna match but he got me that bag and it is so cute okay but anyways this one there's nothing wrong with this bag i'm sorry i didn't mean to like talk you down like that but a michael kors a michael kors okay um but this one is so cute i love like the pearl detail i just felt like i'll be real cute and like when i wear this so i was really excited about this bag it's a really structured bag which is really nice when you shop like inexpensive bags they're usually like flimsy which ain't cute but this is actually really nice and structured the hardware is gold as you guys saw for every chance that i get i'm gonna be carrying this bag well i lied i'm gonna be wearing my michael kors but on occasion i'll pick this one up the last item of this haul are these shoes first of all the box just says it itself like you already know they're gonna be cute shoes y'all 
first of all when i opened the box i just felt like so rich so fancy because it got a little dust bag for each shoe like don't you just feel like rich or something but a really cute shoe it's not that tall i love the square foot i think that that is so adorable and they look like they would be more expensive than they were i think i paid like 40 dollars for these which is not terrible for a shoe that looks like this these look like i forgot the designer shoe that they are yeah so these shoes are super cute all that to be said this is a cute shoe <laughs> okay don't look at my foot size okay i got big feet i'm tall okay don't do me but that's pretty much it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed be sure to like comment and subscribe down below if you want to see more hauls like this or let me know what store you want to see a haul from in the future who do you want me to test out who do you want me to catch lacking let me know so i have a vlogmas playlist i know it's not really the christmas season no more but i mean the videos are still entertaining and they're still up on my channel I'll probably just put a card on the screen so make sure that you check out that playlist because it's pretty entertaining if you want to see more of me and yeah so i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys